I wrote this this morning. And um, it's called, it ain't the skill of the man, it's the will of the man. So bear with me, all right? Give me, uh, give me a second. Let me, um, hold on one. Ah. I wrote this, I, I, I saw a man in the gym. And um, when I saw the man in the gym, it just, it sent me to a different place. You know what I'm saying? So. And I know that people feel this way. All right, so my positive message of the week is called, it ain't the skill of the man, it's the will of the man, right? So I said, I use the name God, creator, universe, and the most high. I use those names all subjectively to fit into your own personal recognition of the source that you personally identify with. With that being said, the Most High has blessed us all with a purpose, a bag of gifts, a bag of tools and talents to give to the world, skills per se. And somehow by living in this world and walking in this life, we haven't properly shopping these tools. You know the mantra when people say, you couldn't walk a mile in my shoes, right? That's an expression that People fall on when they say, you know, I've been through some things. I've been on hard times. I've been through trials and tribulation, the failures along on the way of this journey that we call life. And in doing so, by walking all those miles, we forget one of the most important things, the tools, the very things that the most high that God has embedded us with. We forget to sharpen those tools, right? You see, it ain't the skill of the man, it's the will of the man. Because even with those schools, the, um, excuse me, even with those skills, how far are you willing to go to showcase them? You, you see, in college, every day people drop out. You know, some of those people are far more talented and more smarter than the people that got their degree. But it ain't about that. It's about the desire to go to class just one more day than the next person. The focus to turn on the party and say, look, I'm a party once I get my degree. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's easy to say, I'm just going to party and I'm just going to do my work. But you can turn on the party when you know you're going to get this piece of paper. But this degree means so much more because that degree just don't even mean so much more to you. It means so much to your granny that watched you being born. She knew you was destined for greatness. She watched you. Your mother who dropped out of school when she had you. And you promised her you was going to get that degree. You ain't got no business partying. Handle your business. It's about breaking generational curses. You know, you got to be able to step and say, you know, even if you and your job, I'm on go time. That go means I ain't going to get no liquor. That go time means let me go find my purpose in this world. Let me be the best version of myself that I can be. And that only comes with discipline. You understand what I'm saying? You see, it's the athlete that's born with natural talent, but loses out to the person that gets up before them every morning. Leaves the gym after everyone else is gone. The extra two hours a day adds up to the universe. All right, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I can't do that. I, I wrote this down. I can't bring it off. Of, I can't. I just gotta. I gotta go from the heart. So that same person, right? That athlete, right? They got up before you, right? You might have been more talented than them, but they got up before you and they went to bed after you. Like, what is what? What are you gonna do? Like, you may be better than them in every aspect of life. You may look better than them. You might be smarter than them, but they outgrind you. They outwork you. Never let nobody outwork you. It doesn't even matter. None of that. None of that crap even matters. You know what I'm saying? What are you willing to sacrifice? Because I tell you what, a person like me that sacrificed everything, you're gonna have a hard day in hell trying to get me to give up the food that I worked so hard for to feed my family. It's impossible. 
You know what I'm saying? So it ain't the skill of the man. It's the will of the man. Some people are just born beautiful, more beautiful, yo, to the subject to the eye. Some people are just more talent. They catch on to certain things. But guess what? You cannot work that person. Because when you getting up at six, they getting up at nine. You got a three hour jump on life on them. If you get that three hours every day for 365 years, you then outran them over 1500 hours. So that's what you have to manifest. Put that into this world, right? I died before I allowed somebody to outwork me. It ain't about, and, and, the, and the reason I bring this up, when I went to the gym, it was a it was a man in a wheelchair, right? This man lifted himself up. His legs was just dangling. He lifted himself up from machine to machine. No assistance, right? He was working out, and I, and I admired this man from afar. Somebody that's able body, and I wanted to ask him for an autograph. I mean, a picture, and I felt the shame. But what's your excuse? And certain people had the audacity to sit here and talk about what you can't do. And I sat here and watched this man with no damn legs get from machine to machine. He weighed 140 pounds. He had the heart of somebody that could bench 1,400 pounds. See, it ain't the skill of the man. It's the will of the man. You know what I mean? It ain't the skill, it's the will. Manifest the things that you want in this world. And in closing, I want to say this. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not giving the best to yourself because y'all not giving the best to God. You know what I mean? And y'all worried about what people say about you, that you weren't good enough, that you weren't worthy enough. That your best just wasn't enough. But I want to tell you this. None of those people are God. So what does that really even mean? You know what I mean? You walk your you walk in your value. God made you. The most high made you. The universe made you. So you are good enough. Just as you are. Don't take your dreams and your hopes and your values to the grave. One thing my man Inky Johnson said, he says, God shows us his love for us by blessing us with talents. And we show our love to God by manifesting those talents right back to God. I want to encourage you to impose your will. Be the first in the office, be the first in the gym, and be the first in the classroom. Those extra minutes will pay off over the course of a lifetime because it ain't the skill of the man, it's the will of the man. And that's all I have. I love y'all. All right, T. We're gonna do the um. We're gonna do the standing eight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tried something different, y'all. Um, but I I typed it out. I typed my message out for the first time. But uh, that's just not me. I just have to go from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Angelia. I gotta just. I gotta go from the heart. That's just not me. I can't read it. I read it for my own, but. At the end of the day, the message is this. Don't accept, don't accept being second to none for nobody. God made you perfect just like you are. And I don't give a damn what nobody say about you. There's a bunch of haters in this world. They just like roaches. They everywhere. And the last time I checked, ain't nobody God. So they can't judge you. You perfect just like he made, just like he made you. But your imperfections come in not walking in your privilege, in your talents, in your blessing, in your skill set. Get the most out of that. We love y'all. So with that being said, um, so we're going to do our standing eight count. Sorry I took so long, y'all. I really do apologize, but I had to get that off my heart. You know what I'm saying? And I know that message is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. You know what I mean? 
You are worthy. You are blessed. You are beautiful. You are who the Most High made you. You don't have to feel inferior to nobody. Not on your job, not your boss, not your parents, not your teacher, not your supervisor. Anybody that told you you couldn't do it, be a bold-faced lie. You are great enough because the Most High made you. And not only He made you, He made you wonderfully the way that you are. Big lips like me, big nose, big eyes, small eyes, nappy head, all the things that people said that we were inferior because of but then they come back and try to buy it because they're not us. We are that special group of people that you gotta believe that. And if you don't, you're wasting your life away. Don't take your Jews to the grave with you because of what somebody else say. Who are people anyway? <laughs> That's just what it is, so. With that being said, y'all know on the Sunday night wind down, we leave all our negative energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to She Bell before we go. I prayed for you this morning really hard. And I prayed for my sister Sean as well. Um, I really did. I lit incense and all that, like meditation incense. I meditated on y'all situations and, you know, vibrations, love. With so much hate in the world. You know what I mean? We send love from the Sunday night wind down to you guys. And hopefully it's prophetic and it's and it's powerful. But at this point, you know, anything you're going through, we want to ask y'all to leave it on the on on the altar of the Sunday night wind down. You know what I mean? And uh it's symbolic to a boxer getting hit, so we do the standing eight count is what it's called, and you know, um, we're gonna stand, we're gonna intervene for you guys as well as ourselves, cause life is fucking hard. Excuse my language, life is hard, yo, <laughs> for real, and we human, yeah, we don't gotta hold all this shit in. Excuse me, all this stuff in. <laughs> You know, I'm just I'm just real like that. I, I try not to cuss, but it's real. We try not to hold all the stuff in, but we need each other. Leave all your burdens on the altar of the Sunday night wind down. We'll deal with it next week. But go to go through the week with a fresh mind. So just like boxing, when a boxer get hit, they fall to the ground or they just stumble. Life just hit them hard. That blow hit them hard. We leave all our problems here. And it's up to you if you want to go on or call it quits. But we ain't no quitters. We lean on each other. So on Mr. Universal's count, we're going to do a standing eight count on behalf of everybody on the Sunday night wind down. It's a part of meditation and prayer for positive seeds and leave the negative energy here and go on from this point to next Sunday. On a positive note. So we're going to do that on your count, T, whenever you're ready. Let's go. All right. Appreciate that, Mr. Universal. Um, so with that being said, yo, um, we want to thank everybody just for um, – just for staying on this late and um, just sharing laughter and uplifting our youth and being a part of our movement. You know, we only did this for the people, for the for our family. We are family because it was COVID. But, you know, we appreciate y'all because without, you know, we don't get paid to do this, <laughs> you know, but without y'all, there would not be no us. So, you know, we live and we do this for y'all, so we love y'all. Oh, hold on. I got to – T ain't going to do it. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. T ain't going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Hold up.
<laughs> you ain't gonna do it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, y'all. T ain't gonna do it. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, T. No, no, no. T said we're gonna get flat. I don't care. T said he's taking three weeks off. Two weeks. That's okay. Huh? Two weeks. Two weeks when? Next Sunday and the Sunday after that. God damn. Are you serious? Or are you just throwing this shit out there? No, I'm serious. <laughs> some bullshit. You muted yourself, Judge. I know, I know I muted myself. Hold on. <laughs> I'm off for the next two weeks, people. This motherfucker gonna take two. Ain't nobody ever took two weeks off. God. I seen Come both of y'all. I seen both of y'all take time off, man. <laughs> ain't nobody never took two weeks off. Soup, and I'm soup, gonna, soup took and two I'm, weeks off before. <laughs> Soup Man, I'm in the military. All right, that's all right. I got. I mean, just show me what. Uh, just give me the. Give me the. Give me the stern wheel. You deserve it. Right. Listen, this what. This how I feel. I love, I love this song. I'm. I'm. Hey, listen. I'm rocking. I'm DJing when T gonna be gone. I'm DJing. Don't get this flag. They gonna be sending me emails saying, "Yo, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all thought this was." <laughs> I don't care. Listen, I'm a rogue. I'm the wrong person. I'm a dog. I'm a rogue, yo. Like, hey, listen. I'm. Don't give me the keys or nothing. They know better. Even in the military, they know better. I'm good. Look, rest in peace, DMX, man. Rest in peace, Black Rob. Rest in peace, Shock G. You know, rest in peace, everybody, man. It's been a rough one. It's been a rough one. We're gonna make it through. I'm gonna tell you like this. I ain't gonna when we hey, I'm I'm full throttle on everything, goddamn. When I when I go through, we going all the way. It's ride or die for real. <laughs> Yo. Love y'all. Peace. Shout out to Miss Universal for trying to take two weeks off. He just told us today he ain't need years a goddamn note. Just today, I'm I'm off next week. Yo, I'm telling you, a week ahead of time. <laughs> All right, y'all, we out. <laughs>